So this is going to be literally the first time that I've ever been to my own base. Yo, how are you guys? John or Jensen here. Today, I'm bringing you a brand new episode of Core Factions. Today on the Block MC. How are you guys doing today? I am doing freaking fantastic. Guys, welcome back to a brand new episode here on the channel today. If you're excited for the return of Factions, then let me see you guys smash out at least 75 likes today. That would be much appreciated. And I feel like putting a sale on the store as well. So just to celebrate me returning to Factions, okay, we're going to do a 50% off sale only for the next 24 hours. So if you guys do want to come and join the server and purchase any ranks or any great keys or anything absolutely everything okay this is the first time we've done it it's absolutely everything everything will be 50% off you just have to use the code Janazon in the checkout and it will give you 50% off absolutely everything okay guys so that is what we're going to be doing today but it's uh it's it's been a while so we've got a, like, we've got a lot of things to check out in today's episode and uh for, first and foremost i just want to give a quick shout out to my faction which is Cyrex okay because they are actually number one on the faction top okay if we do slash f top you guys can see the cyrex are out here they're freaking out here right now with 83 million dollars of worth which is absolutely crazy they've been grinding it out here on the server which is just mental and we have just claimed our daily roll which was 250 xp so let's go ahead and redeem that real quick and that will jump us up to level 45 now we actually have a bunch of stuff on here which uh i completely forgot where we actually got to in our season but we are now back and uh I, I think we need to just kind of catch up with everything that's going on. Before we do anything like that, we're going to open some episode crate keys, of course, which starts over here at the crate key uh, section, I guess. <laughs> but we are going to go ahead and we're going to open two mysteries and one monster crate. We're just going to empty out our crate keys and see what we can pick up. So let's just start with the mystery crate and see what we do manage to pick up today. What are we going to get? Give me some money. I'll take some money, actually. Uh, we are going to pick ourselves up a money note. I, I guess I wished for it. We got 25k money note. And I think that my, um, my, my something, this, yeah, I was going to say this must be off because I'm pretty sure that's how, uh, that's the noise that it makes. But there we go. We have a 25k money note. That's not too bad, I guess. Let's pick up the second one right here of the mystery crate. Yeah, I think I need to reload my sounds because this isn't making any noise, which feels bad. But there it is. Let's see what we can pick up from this second crate key right here. Come on. Give me, give me, give me something cool. I, I just want something. Okay, sick, you know what? 256 TNT, that's not bad. We could probably store this in the base. All right, now on to the better crate key tier, which is the monster crate key. Now, you can actually get some pretty intense things from this, so I'm excited to see what we can get. Here we go. Three, two, one, boom. All right, let's see what this is going to give me right now. The crate key, the monster crate key. Can we please pick something up that's pretty freaking sick? Come on, come on. Oh no, we're not going to get anything good. I don't think we're going to get anything good. We did! We got a passive spawner package! I would freaking take that right there. That is a very, very good win. A pig chicken, a pig chicken and a cow, a pig chicken. <laughs> Dude, a pig chicken, <laughs> just that's the name of the mob now, a freaking pig chicken. No, we got a pig, a chicken and a cow spawner. That is pretty epic, I'm not going to lie. That is a, that is a good win actually, we'll, we'll take. So let's take a quick wander into the war zone right here. I'm just going to look to see if there's any, uh, you know, stray proximity chests lying around that we can uh, that we can loot up. But I do actually want to have a look into the base because I know that my my faction clearly have been doing a lot of work. So I definitely want to see where they're at in terms of the base, um, in terms of what's going on. So this is going to be literally the first time that I've ever been to my own base. Um, since, since, since whenever. And I don't know why that's not disappearing. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's any stray proximity chests. Looks like everybody has claimed them all, which is a fair play to them. You know, they've probably been there for a while. But let's go ahead and go to our base. I don't know why, it just kicked me when I went to F home, but I'm back. Um, so, this, this, this is literally my first look at the base. Now, this base has to be worth a lot. If we take a look right now, we are, we are worth 83 million. And 56 million of that is in spawner worth, okay? So, we do need to explore this. Oh, holy poop. We do need to explore this base. Can you imagine someone raids this? They're going to be freaking loaded, bro. Why do we have so much? Oh my goodness. We're actually rich. We're actually full on rich. This is what it's like to to live within the richest faction. This is this is absolutely mental. We we have so much stuff. Okay, I heard a spawner just then. What is this? It's a chicken spawner. We just have a chicken spawner chilling. I want to go and check out like all the different sections of this base because I, I genuinely have no idea. Like I, I don't think I've ever, unless this is the same base as it was before, which is quite possible because I know that they like to change it around a lot. Um, But there's our core up there. What level is our core right now? We are, we're level 12. Are we max prestige as well? No, I think we're at least prestige one. That's cool. I like that. Um, Yeah, I, I, I need to just kind of figure out where I am. My goodness, there's just a bunch of spawners in chests, bro. What? How do we ha just have these laying around? 
Okay, here we go. Where the, where, where the heck is this? I, I'm so confused. So there's a wither skeleton right there. I guess these are all the spawners. See, that's where I just was. These are all the spawners. Those are, by the looks of it, enderman spawners. These are empty. These are empty also. And I guess the skeleton and just general, um, general kind of hostile spawners in there. Now let's see if we can... Go ahead and drop down here and see what's going on. So I, I literally haven't been in this base really. So um, I just wanted to have a look and see what it's like to be in the richest faction to be honest. Because uh, I, I haven't seen a big base like this in a very, very long time. Because generally, whenever bases like this get put up, they get raided instantly. And now that I'm putting this video out, this is probably going to happen. Um, but we shall see. Yeah, see there's nothing in there. But then, yeah, see, this one continues going down. And what is this? I assume this is just the general, uh, yeah, there you go. Those are the skeletons that we're, that we're seeing earlier. Um, and I'm glad that they are all working fine. Perfect. All right, so I, I do kind of need to level up my spawners, actually. Let's actually have a quick look on slash spawners. Can I level up? What do I need? I need experience. So right now, I'm lacking in the experience. So I might try and see. Is there any on the AH? There is. It's 2,500 on the AH. How much is it? It's 100k. I don't know how much is that will get me up, but let's just buy it anyway. Let's buy it anyway. We have 2,500. Is that going to be enough? I think it is. I think we actually should have enough. Oh, and now we don't have enough money because we just spent it all. 45k though. That should be too bad to get. Let's see if we can sell some of the stuff in here um, real quick. Okay, so here's some interesting spots. We have an actual IG farm right here. Claim, claimed by... Okay, I guess Ellie has been the F king right here. I don't know why these chests... I guess... Huh. That's weird. Some of these are empty. Don't know why. I'm not quite sure why that one's empty and all the other ones are full, but uh, there it is. Um, so yeah, these, these have a bunch of things. So I'm actually just going to steal some of this um, real quick and, and sell sell it because we need to... There we go. We need to make the money. So now we should be able to go ahead and uh, rank up the spawners because that's what that's what we need to do right now. We need to focus on that. Um, so how much more do we need? We need so much more XP. So I don't know how we're going to do this, but I'm thinking of adding quests to the server. How would you guys feel if we added quests to the server? Um, because then what that would do, right, is it would enable you to actually have another way of getting XP. Because right now, I think daily rewards and proximities are, of course, the main main thing to do that with. So I think, you know, I think it'd be useful if we add something like that. Just like a challenge system where, you know, there's, there's rewards for doing a bunch of things. That's that's kind of what I'm thinking. Let me know what you guys think about that and uh, whether you'd like that. Because, you know, I, I think that'd be something cool that we could definitely do. So um, even that, just faction quests would be a cool thing as well. Um, but yeah, right now it's uh, right now it's all just kind of daily rewards and uh, proximities and stuff. So I guess you could probably get it from vote crates, actually, now that I think about it. Um, that's probably a very, very good way. What are the slash crates? Is it... Can you get it? Oh, you can't preview your rewards, I don't think. Yeah, that <laughs> feels bad. But I think there should be invoke crates. And if they're not, then they will be added. Because I think that would be a good way to uh, to get it as well. I mean, obviously, you get XP from grinding, like, mobs and that. But you don't get nearly as much, you know. See, I kind of want to see if they have any um any kind of XP bottles, like they do right here. Just laying around the base. Because, you know, these aren't too, too hard to get. So, we'll see if I can uh, find a few more of these and level myself up. And actually, there's a bunch of TNT in these chests. So, I'm just going to load some of those into there as well. I believe level 50 is what I'm aiming for to be able to level up my spawners again. So uh, we're just going to use all of the enchantment bottles that I can find in this base. Now I did actually find just a whole chest of them. Well not a whole chest but like uh, a large chest of them right there. But I definitely need to get one of my faction members on to show me around the base because I, I really don't know half the places. Okay so that's done. Now we just need the money and how much is it? It's actually a hundred thousand dollars. So let me see if I can get back to the IGs real quick. Alright here we go. So it should be yeah this one right here. So let's see because I don't think anyone is actually FKing this right now so we should be able to sell the majority of this stuff um real quick i'm gonna pop all this stuff away in my pv as well because we don't really need any of that stuff on me to be fair we probably don't need it at all but it's it's it's, it's okay we may as well um sell hand with that real quick so we need what do we need 100k so we're gonna need to sell a bunch of this iron right here um i'm sorry for whoever afk this i will now after i've done this recording i will leave my account afk just to uh, grind it all back up for you because obviously this is some hours worth of afking right here so uh my bad and i will uh, i will afk it back for you don't worry we're good um okay so hmm i don't i i thought there was more iron than there actually is i think because i don't think we're going to be able to get too much out of this i mean we're already at 70k if we could sell the heads obviously it would be a lot more beneficial but we cannot so that is uh out of the question oh here we go there's a bunch more in this chest sell and this should put us pretty close actually yeah there we go we're within 5k which isn't bad at all can you sell these yet 
Sell hand. I thought I made these sellable, but maybe not. No, you can't. Okay, let me fix that as well. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll, I'll make a list. I'll make a list. So we actually have a bunch of blaze spawners in here as well. Now, do these... What do these sell for, actually? These... Because these used to be... I remember these used to be the best way. So $5. Yeah, see, it's, it's not bad. It's just not a lot. Now, what is in this one, actually? I'm, I'm kind of intrigued. Is this the Enderman one? It doesn't... There's literally nothing... It's just someone's stuff in here. But yeah, this looks like it's the Enderman one. Yeah, it is. Um, what if I sell hand these? Three hundred dollars. Okay, so it's not it's not a bad amount, but it's also not very good. All right, that should hopefully get us pretty close to where we need to be right now. We're, yeah, we're we're super super close. Is that a faction core? Wow, it is. It's a level four faction core. Just sitting in a chest. Feels freaking good, man. Um, all right, let's sell those. Yeah, we're literally nearly there. I'm just selling as many little things as I can just to just to get up the, my my balance to what it needs to be. Uh, we have a few more ender pearls that should work. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. So let's get our spawn level up so that we can actually use spider spawners now. Perfect. So I think um, for progress wise, that's probably where I want to leave it um, in terms of leveling those stuff up because I don't really want to go too far out of that. Um, because you know, that's, that's, it's, you know, that's, that's, that's some good progress for today's episode. And I was actually just thinking in my head as well, like, um, I, I kind of, uh, there's a lot I want to do with the server, okay? There's a, there's a bunch of things I want to do with the server. And one of the things is to rewrite the factions core stuff. Now, if you guys know anyone that would like to take on this quest, then let me know. Um, uh, but yeah, no, guys, um, uh, I think that is where I'm going to go ahead and end this episode. This is what it's been like to, uh, to be in a, I guess, a, a rich factions base. This is, this is my, this is my faction. We are super rich, apparently. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, make sure you do slap a like on it. If you're excited for factions to return, then also slap a like. If you are new to the channel, hit subscribe. Guys, thank you so much for joining me, and I'll see you in the next episode of Four Factions on the Block MC.